In the grim darkness of the far future, humanity's struggles stretch across a galaxy teeming with alien life. The Imperium of Man, a vast and oppressive regime, wages endless war against these Xenos races. Yet a provocative question lurks in the shadows of this conflict. Are the Xenos a forgotten creation of ancient humanity? This inquiry challenges the very foundations of imperial doctrine and the established narrative of human history in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. To explore this possibility, we must delve into the murky depths of humanity's past, examine the nature of various Xeno species, and consider the implications of such a revelation. The Dark Age of Technology, a period of unparalleled human advancement, remains shrouded in mystery. During this era, humanity reached the pinnacle of its scientific and technological prowess, mastering genetic engineering, artificial intelligence, and interstellar travel. The secrets of this time have been lost to the ravages of the Age of Strife, leaving only fragments and whispers of humanity's former glory. Scattered across the galaxy, remnants of ancient human colonies tell tales of bygone eras. Archaeotech, relics of incredible power and unfathomable purpose, hints at capabilities far beyond the current understanding of the Adeptus Mechanicus. These technological marvels fuel speculation about the true extent of humanity's past achievements. The Imperium's stance on Xenos races is unequivocal. They are abominations to be purged without mercy. This xenophobic ideology, deeply ingrained in imperial culture, stems from millennia of conflict and the teachings of the emperor himself. However, this unwavering hostility may serve to obscure a more complex truth about the relationship between humanity and alien species. Various Xenos races exhibit traits and abilities that parallel or even surpass human potential. The Eldar's psychic prowess, the Orc's innate understanding of technology, and the Tyranids' adaptive biology all represent pinnacles of evolution or engineering. Could these remarkable characteristics be the result of ancient human experimentation or design? The concept of humanity as the progenitor of Xenos lifeforms is not without precedent in the lore of Warhammer 40,000. The Jokero, a race of orangutan-like creatures with an instinctive grasp of advanced technology, are rumored to be the product of human genetic engineering. This example opens the door to speculation about other Xenos' origins. Inquisitorial records hint at forbidden knowledge and suppressed truths. Radical members of the Ordo Xenos occasionally pursue lines of inquiry that challenge orthodoxy, seeking connections between humanity's past and the Xenos' threats of the present. These investigations, often conducted in utmost secrecy, risk accusations of heresy, but may hold the key to understanding the true nature of the galaxy's inhabitants. The possibility of Xenos as human creations raises profound questions about the nature of the Long Night and the fall of the Elder. Could these cataclysmic events be linked to humanity's meddling with the fundamental forces of creation? The psychic awakening of humanity and the birth of the Emperor himself might be viewed in a new light if Xenos races were indeed engineered by ancient humans. Legends of the Men of Gold and the Men of Stone mythical predecessors or creations of humanity, blur the lines between man and machine, between creator and created. These tales suggest that humanity's past endeavors in artificial life and enhanced beings may have laid the groundwork for what would eventually become classified as Xenos. The silent king of the Necron Sarek claims to remember a time when his race was flesh and blood, before biotransference. His ancient memories, predating even the war in heaven, could potentially hold clues about the true origins of various galactic species, including humanity and its supposed creations. Exploring this theory requires careful consideration of the timeline of galactic history. The rise and fall of the Necrontire, the dominance of the Old Ones, and the emergence of younger races like the Eldar and Orcs, all play crucial roles in understanding the potential for human involvement in Xeno's creation. The Horus Heresy a pivotal moment in human history, saw the exposure of many hidden truths. Primarchs and space marines encountered ancient technologies and entities that challenged their understanding of the universe. Could some of these revelations have hinted at humanity's role in shaping the galaxy's diverse life forms? As we ponder the question of Xenos as forgotten human creations, we must also consider the implications for the future of the Imperium 
and its relationships with alien races. If proven true, this theory could fundamentally alter the course of galactic politics and warfare, potentially opening doors to alliances or deeper conflicts based on this shared heritage. The annals of galactic history stretch back countless millennia, shrouded in mystery and conflicting accounts. To unravel the enigma of Xenos' origins and their potential connection to ancient humanity, we must embark on a journey through time, piecing together fragments of lore from various sources. Long before the rise of the Imperium, even before the Dark Age of Technology, the galaxy teemed with life and conflict. The War in Heaven, a cataclysmic struggle between the Old Ones and the Necrontire, shaped the fundamental nature of reality itself. This cosmic conflict saw the birth of many psychic races and the manipulation of life on an unimaginable scale. Eldar myths speak of the Old Ones as creators and mentors bestowing upon them the gifts of psychic power and advanced technology. Similarly, orc legends tell of their origins as a warrior race engineered for combat. These accounts raise questions about the role of creator species in the galaxy's history, and open the possibility for humanity's involvement in similar endeavors during its technological zenith. The Dark Age of Technology marked humanity's greatest achievements, a time when the species mastered the stars and bent the laws of physics to its will. Archaeotech discoveries hint at the awesome capabilities of this era. Machines that could manipulate time, weapons that could extinguish suns, and devices capable of reshaping entire planets. With such power at their fingertips, the idea of ancient humans creating or modifying alien life forms becomes more plausible. Clues to humanity's potential role in Zeno's creation can be found in the enigmatic substance known as Blackstone. This material, central to many ancient technologies and psychic phenomena, appears across the galaxy in structures of both human and Zeno's origin. Could Blackstone be a link between human scientific endeavors and the emergence of certain alien races? The Men of Gold, a mysterious group mentioned in ancient Terran legends, are said to have possessed godlike intellects and capabilities. Some scholars speculate that these beings may have been responsible for seeding the galaxy with various life forms, possibly as part of a grand experiment or a plan to ensure humanity's survival through diversification. Examination of Xenos biology reveals intriguing parallels with human genetic structures. The Genestealer cults, for instance, demonstrate an uncanny ability to interbreed with humans suggesting a degree of genetic compatibility that defies conventional evolutionary theory. This compatibility could be indicative of a shared origin or deliberate design. The Hrud, a race of entropy-manipulating nomads, possess temporal distortion abilities that echo the chrono-technology attributed to Dark Age humanity. Their existence raises the possibility that they are the result of human experiments with time and space perhaps an unintended consequence of pushing the boundaries of scientific understanding. Fragmented records from the Great Crusade era mention encounters with false men and abominable intelligences on distant worlds. These could be references to abandoned human creations or experiments that evolved in isolation, eventually becoming what the Imperium would classify as Xeno's threats. The Jokero, with their innate grasp of advanced technology, present one of the strongest cases for Xenos as human creations. Their abilities align closely with the technological mastery attributed to Dark Age humanity, suggesting they may be living repositories of ancient human knowledge, designed to preserve crucial information through biological means. Inquisitorial investigations into certain Xenos artifacts have uncovered activation mechanisms responsive to human neural patterns. Such findings imply a deeper connection between human cognition and alien technology than previously thought, potentially indicating a shared origin or intentional compatibility engineered by ancient human scientists. The Kuoral, an insectoid race with a highly organized society, possess unique pheromone-based communication systems that bear striking similarities to theoretical human biotechnology projects. Their existence could be the result of human attempts to create efficient biologically integrated communication networks. Eldar Farseers, known for their ability to manipulate the strands of fate, occasionally speak of humanity's role in the grand tapestry of galactic events. Some of their prophecies hint at revelations about the true nature of Xenos races, 
and their connection to mankind's distant past, though these visions are often cryptic and open to interpretation. The Slan, an ancient race mentioned in fragmentary texts, are sometimes described as the greatest bioengineers in galactic history. If such accounts are accurate, they may have passed on their knowledge to early humans, enabling them to continue the practice of creating and modifying life forms. Necron Cryptex, masters of esoteric sciences, have occasionally hinted at a greater complexity to the galaxy's life forms than is commonly understood. Their ancient knowledge, predating even the war in heaven, suggests that the boundaries between created and evolved species may be more blurred than the Imperium acknowledges. The concept of panspermia, the distribution of life throughout the galaxy by asteroids or other space-borne objects, takes on new significance when considered alongside the idea of human-created xenos. Ancient humanity may have utilized this natural process, augmenting it with advanced technology to seed distant worlds with engineered life forms designed to thrive in various environments. Explorator fleets of the Adeptus Mechanicus have stumbled upon worlds where the flora and fauna exhibit unmistakable signs of artificial design, yet predate any known human colonization efforts. These discoveries fuel speculation about pre imperial human activities and their potential role in shaping alien ecosystems. The Tyranids, despite their apparent extragalactic origin, possess an uncanny ability to assimilate and repurpose genetic material from various species. This trait bears a striking resemblance to theoretical human bioengineering capabilities from the Dark Age of Technology. Could the Tyranids be an unforeseen result of humanity's attempts to create the ultimate adaptive life form? Certain Xenos races exhibit social structures and behavioral patterns that mirror human societies in surprising ways. The Tau Empire's caste system and rapid technological advancement, for instance, could be seen as an accelerated reflection of human societal evolution. This similarity raises questions about potential human influence on their development, perhaps as part of a long-term sociological experiment. The existence of the Webway, a labyrinthine dimension used for faster-than-light travel, is primarily associated with the Elder. However, the Emperor's attempts to create a human version of the Webway suggest that ancient humanity may have had a hand in its original design, or at least possessed knowledge of its workings. This connection could imply a deeper link between humans and Eldar than currently recognized. Archaeological expeditions to dead worlds occasionally uncover evidence of highly advanced civilizations that predate known Xeno's activity. These findings often bear hallmarks of both human and alien influences, blurring the lines between species and hinting at a shared technological heritage that could support the theory of human-created Xenos. The Mechanicus's quest for the fabled STC, Standard Template Construct Systems, has led to the discovery of designs that seem to incorporate Xenos biological components. These blueprints challenge the notion of a purely human-centric technological golden age and suggest that ancient humanity may have created hybrid or fully Xenos entities as part of their scientific endeavors. Certain warp phenomena and entities encountered by the Imperium display characteristics that align with theoretical human attempts to harness the Immaterium. The existence of these anomalies could be the result of ancient psychers pushing the boundaries of their powers, inadvertently giving rise to new forms of life or altering existing species. The concept of seeded worlds appears in various imperial texts, describing planets populated with carefully selected or engineered life forms. While often attributed to the Old Ones or other ancient races, some radical scholars propose that these worlds may be the result of Dark Age humanity's attempts to create self-sustaining ecosystems or living weapons platforms. Examination of Xenos religious beliefs and creation myths sometimes reveals surprising parallels to ancient human theology and philosophy. This cultural resonance could be indicative of a shared origin or deliberate implantation of ideas by human progenitors, designed to guide the development of their created species. The existence of nulls or blanks among humans, individuals who negate psychic phenomena, finds curious echoes in certain Xeno species with similar abilities. This shared trait across species boundaries suggests a common origin or purpose, possibly linked to ancient human efforts to counter warp-based threats.
Some Xenos artifacts demonstrate a puzzling affinity for human users, responding to them in ways that defy explanation given the supposed alienness of their creators. This unexpected compatibility hints at design choices that may have intentionally included human interaction, supporting the theory of a shared developmental history. Legends of the Golden Men speak of beings capable of creating life and shaping reality itself. If these myths have a basis in historical fact, they could represent a pivotal moment in human history when the species briefly attained the power to engineer new forms of life, potentially giving rise to what would later be classified as a Xenos races. The occasional discovery of human genetic markers in seemingly unrelated Xenos species has led some Magos biologists to postulate a common ancestral source. While often dismissed as convergent evolution or contamination, these findings continue to fuel debate about the true origins of galactic life forms. As we delve deeper into the possibility of Xenos's forgotten human creations, we must consider the profound implications of such a revelation. If proven true, this theory would not only rewrite the history of humanity and its place in the galaxy, but also challenge the very foundations of imperial doctrine, and the ongoing war against alien life. The next section will explore the characteristics and peculiarities of various Xenos races, seeking further evidence to support or refute this controversial hypothesis. The concept of uplifted species, prevalent in ancient human science fiction, finds curious parallels in the 41st millennium. Several Xenos races display signs of accelerated evolution or sudden leaps in cognitive ability, that align with theoretical models of genetic enhancement. This pattern could be indicative of ancient human intervention, guiding the development of various species for unknown purposes. Psychic abilities, while natural to some species like the Eldar, manifest in others in ways that suggest artificial augmentation. The Zoats, for instance, possess psychic powers that seem incongruous with their reptilian physiology. Such anomalies could be the result of human psychers experimenting with the transfer or implantation of psychic potential across species barriers. The existence of the Halo devices, artifacts capable of transforming humans into Xenos-like beings, hints at a technology designed to bridge the gap between human and alien physiologies. These devices could be remnants of ancient human experiments in trans-species metamorphosis, possibly aimed at creating adaptable forms of life for colonizing hostile environments. Certain Xeno species exhibit a peculiar fixation on humanity, beyond what might be expected from simple interspecies conflict. The enslavers, for example, show a particular affinity for human minds. This focused interest might stem from an ingrained recognition of humanity as their creators, persisting even as the enslavers evolved into their current warp-based form. The concept of cedar ships appears in fragmented reports from the fringes of imperial space. These vessels, allegedly capable of terraforming planets and introducing entire ecosystems, bear similarities to theoretical Dark Age human colony ships. The idea that such ships might have been responsible for spreading engineered life forms across the galaxy adds weight to the human created Xenos theory. Examination of certain Xenos languages has revealed underlying structures reminiscent of ancient human linguistic patterns. This unexpected commonality could be the result of deliberate design, with human creators instilling familiar language constructs to facilitate future communication or control. The Agarian Dominion, an obscure Xenos empire encountered during the Great Crusade, displayed technology so similar to ancient human designs that some tech priests believed it to be of human origin. This confluence of technological development across species lines suggests a shared heritage or deliberate dissemination of human scientific knowledge. Reports of Xeno species with asymmetrical evolution, where technological advancement far outpaces biological development, have led some scholars to theorize about external intervention in their history. These cases of guided evolution align with hypothetical models of how human-created species might develop over millennia. The existence of hybrid species like the Genestealer cults raises questions about the fundamental compatibility between human and Xenos genetics. This interbreeding ability, while often attributed to Tyranid bioengineering, could have roots in ancient human genetic tampering, 
designed to create adaptive species capable of thriving in various environments. Explorator fleets have occasionally discovered worlds where the flora and fauna exhibit traits of both Terran and Xenos origin. These hybrid ecosystems defy conventional explanations of convergent evolution, suggesting instead a deliberate blending of life forms, possibly as part of ancient human terraforming efforts. The Umbra, mysterious shadow-like entities, possess abilities that align closely with theoretical Dark Age research into matter-energy conversion. Their existence could be the result of human experiments pushing the boundaries of physics and biology, inadvertently creating a new form of life. Some Xenos artifacts demonstrate a curious resonance with human brainwave patterns, responding to mental commands in ways that suggest intentional compatibility. This design choice implies a creator with intimate knowledge of human neurology, supporting the idea of a human origin for these supposedly alien technologies. The concept of seed AI, artificial intelligences designed to evolve and adapt independently, finds potential parallels in certain Xeno species. The rapid adaptability and problem-solving capabilities of races like the Tyranids or the Orcs Gestalt field could be seen as advanced forms of such systems, originally set in motion by Dark Age human scientists. Investigations into the origins of the Navigator gene have led some researchers to speculate about its possible Xenos connections. The unique abilities of Navigators, essential for warp travel, bear similarities to the psychic navigational skills of certain alien species, suggesting a common source or deliberate cross-species adaptation by ancient humans. The occasional discovery of Xenos ruins bearing unmistakable signs of human architectural influence has fueled theories about collaborative efforts between humans and aliens during the dark age of technology. These sites could be evidence of joint ventures in bioengineering and species creation, undertaken before the fall of human civilization. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of humanity's past and its potential role in shaping the galaxy's diverse life forms, we must remain open to possibilities that challenge our understanding of species boundaries and the nature of creation itself. Xeno species in the Warhammer 40,000 universe exhibit a vast array of unique traits and abilities, each contributing to the rich tapestry of galactic biodiversity. These characteristics, while often viewed through the lens of otherness and hostility by the Imperium, may hold clues to their potential origins as creations of ancient humanity. Adaptive biology stands out as a prevalent feature among many Xenos races. The Tyranids, masters of genetic assimilation, demonstrate an unparalleled ability to incorporate useful traits from consumed biomass. This hyperevolution mirrors advanced bioengineering concepts, suggesting a possible link to Dark Age human experiments in rapid adaptation. Psychic prowess varies greatly across Xeno species. Eldar exemplify the pinnacle of psychic potential, their minds capable of manipulating reality itself. Conversely, the Tau exhibit little to no psychic ability, an anomaly that has puzzled imperial scholars. This spectrum of psychic capability could indicate deliberate design choices by ancient human creators, tailoring each species for specific roles or environments. Technological integration sets certain Xenos apart. Necrons with their living metal bodies represent the ultimate fusion of biology and machine. The Orc's innate understanding of technology, manifesting in their ability to construct complex machines from scrap, hints at a deeply ingrained technological knowledge, possibly implanted by their creators. Collective consciousness appears in various forms across Xenos races. The Tyranid hive mind, a vast psychic network controlling countless organisms, showcases an extreme example of this trait. Similarly, the Orcs Gestalt field, known as the Wa, amplifies their abilities through collective belief. These shared consciousness systems could be remnants of control mechanisms implemented by ancient human engineers. Regenerative capabilities feature prominently in several Xenos physiologies. Orcs exhibit remarkable healing abilities, quickly recovering from grievous wounds. Tyranids can regrow entire limbs or organs in the heat of battle. Such resilience aligns with theoretical Dark Age research into cellular regeneration, and could represent successful implementations of this technology. Warp interaction varies dramatically among Xeno species. 
While some like the Eldar navigate and manipulate the warp with finesse, others such as the Necrons, exist entirely outside its influence. This diversity and warp affinity might reflect different approaches to dealing with the immaterium, developed by ancient human scientists exploring various avenues of interstellar travel and psychic technology. Specialized organ systems often define Xenos biology. Tyranid bioforms possess organs capable of producing living ammunition and bioplasma. Orcs feature complex fungal systems that allow them to reproduce through spores. These unique anatomical features could be the result of targeted genetic engineering, designed to create self-sustaining and easily propagating life forms. Environmental adaptability characterizes many Xeno species. From the radiation-resistant Necrons to the void-dwelling Umbra, Xenos demonstrate an incredible range of survival capabilities in extreme conditions. This adaptability suggests intentional design for colonization of diverse planetary environments, aligning with theoretical Dark Age terraforming and colonization strategies. Longevity and immortality appear as recurring themes in Xenos biology. Eldar can live for millennia, while Necrons exist in a state of functional immortality. These extended lifespans could be the result of ancient human efforts to overcome mortality, with different approaches yielding varied results across engineered species. Gestalt psychic fields, such as those exhibited by the orcs and the Tyranid hive mind, represent a unique form of species wide communication and coordination. These fields allow for instantaneous transfer of information and collective decision making on a massive scale. Such capabilities align with theoretical Dark Age research into psychic amplification and group consciousness, possibly implemented as control mechanisms for created species. Rapid maturation cycles characterize several Xenos races. Orcs, for instance, grow from spores to fully functional adults in a matter of weeks. This accelerated development could be a designed feature, allowing for quick repopulation of colonized worlds or rapid response to environmental changes. Symbiotic relationships within species are common among Xenos. The genus Steeler cults demonstrate complex symbiosis between human hosts and Tyranid genetic material. Such intricate biological interactions could be the result of sophisticated bioengineering, designed to create adaptable and resilient hybrid species. Physiological polymorphism is evident in races like the Tyranids and Orcs. Their ability to manifest different physical forms, based on environmental needs or battlefield roles, suggests a level of genetic plasticity that aligns with advanced bioengineering concepts. This trait could be a deliberate design feature, allowing created species to adapt to various planetary conditions without further intervention. Exotic metabolism set many Xenos apart from terrestrial life forms. Some species can derive energy from radiation, while others subsist on materials toxic to most carbon-based life. These diverse metabolic processes could represent ancient human experiments in creating life forms capable of thriving in extreme environments, potentially as part of terraforming or colonization efforts. Hive mind structures, while most prominently associated with the Tyranids, appear in various forms across Xeno species. The Genestealer cult's psychic network and the orc's subconscious technological knowledge suggest different implementations of shared consciousness. These structures could be remnants of control systems implemented by ancient human creators to guide the development and behavior of engineered species. Unique sensory capabilities often define Xenos interactions with their environment. From the Eldar's heightened awareness to the Tyranid's ability to sense biomass across vast distances, these enhanced senses could be the result of targeted genetic improvements aimed at creating species optimized for specific roles or environments. Asexual reproduction methods are common among many Xenos races. Orcs reproduce through spores, while Tyranids can spawn new organisms from reclaimed biomass. These efficient replication systems could have been designed to ensure rapid colonization of new worlds or to maintain population levels in hostile environments. Psycho-reactive materials, such as the Eldar's Wraithbone, or the orcs' psychically influenced technology, represent a merger of psychic power and physical matter. The existence of these materials across multiple Xenos races suggests a common origin or shared technological base, possibly rooted in ancient human research into psychic engineering.
temporal manipulation abilities, exhibited by races like the Hrud, hint at a deep understanding of the fundamental nature of reality. Such capabilities align with theoretical Dark Age research into chrono technology and could represent successful implementations of time-altering experiments. As we examine these diverse characteristics and peculiarities of Xeno species, patterns emerge that suggest a level of design and purpose beyond random evolution. The recurrence of traits beneficial for colonization, warfare, and survival in extreme conditions aligns with the theoretical goals of an advanced civilization, seeking to engineer life forms for galactic expansion. Whether these traits are the result of ancient human bioengineering or the work of other creator species remains a topic of fervent debate and ongoing investigation. Xeno species play a pivotal role in shaping the dynamics of the Warhammer 40,000 universe their influence extending far beyond mere adversaries to humanity. Their presence challenges the Imperium's dominance, drives technological advancement, and adds layers of complexity to galactic politics and warfare. Conflict catalysts, Xenos races serve as primary antagonists in the never-ending wars that define the 41st millennium. The constant threat they pose fuels the Imperium's militaristic stance and justifies its harsh policies. Tyranid hive fleets pushing ever deeper into the galaxy force unprecedented cooperation among human worlds. Necron tomb worlds, awakening after millennia of slumber, present an implacable foe that defies conventional warfare tactics. Technological innovation often stems from encounters with Xenos artifacts and machinery. The Adeptus Mechanicus, despite its dogmatic approach to technology, secretly covets Xenos advancements. Eldar Wraithbone technology, Necron living metal, and Tau Pulse weaponry represent pinnacles of scientific achievement that the Imperium strives to understand and replicate. This drive for reverse engineering Xenos tech leads to breakthroughs that shape the course of human development. Political destabilization occurs frequently in regions where Xenos influence grows strong. The expansion of the Tau Empire, with its seductive greater good philosophy, challenges imperial control over frontier worlds. Genestealer cults, operating in the shadows, undermine planetary governments from within, preparing the way for tyrannid invasions. These Xenos-driven political shifts force the Imperium to constantly reassess and reinforce its grip on outlying systems. Economic impacts ripple through the galaxy due to Xenos activity. Eldar Corsairs disrupt trade routes, forcing merchants to seek costly alternative paths or risk substantial losses. Orc, wah, devastate industrial worlds, causing resource shortages that echo across entire sectors. The mere presence of dormant Necron tomb worlds can render potentially valuable planets off-limits, denying the Imperium access to crucial resources. Psychological warfare takes on new dimensions when Xenos are involved. The otherworldly nature of many alien species instills a deep-seated fear in Imperial citizens. Dark Eldar raids leave lasting trauma on affected populations, while the incomprehensible motives of the Tyranid hive mind generate existential dread on a galactic scale. This psychological impact influences Imperial strategy, often leading to extreme measures in the name of security. Biological evolution of humanity itself is influenced by Xeno's contact. The creation of space marines with their enhanced physiology can be seen as a response to the superior physical abilities of many alien races. Genus Teeler infections introduce alien DNA into human populations, creating hybrid strains that blur the lines between species. These biological interactions raise questions about the future of human evolution in a galaxy teeming with Xenos life. Religious doctrine within the Imperium is shaped by the existence of Xenos. The Imperial Creed's xenophobic stance reinforces the idea of human superiority and the divine right to galactic dominance. Encounters with godlike Xenos entities such as the Satan challenge human understanding of divinity and the nature of worship. These theological conflicts often lead to schisms and heresies that further fracture Imperial unity. Cultural exchange, though limited and often unintentional, occurs through prolonged contact with Xeno's species. Rogue traders, operating on the fringes of imperial space, 
sometimes adopt alien customs or technologies. The Tao's assimilation of other races into their empire demonstrates the potential for multicultural societies, a concept anathema to imperial dogma. These cultural influences, however subtle, slowly reshape the perspectives of those who interact closely with Xenos. Ecosystem disruption on a planetary scale often results from Xenos invasions or colonization. Tyranid consumption of all biomass on invaded worlds leaves barren husks in their wake. Orc spores can transform entire planets into orc-dominated ecosystems over time. These drastic changes to planetary biospheres force the Imperium to develop new terraforming techniques and adaptive colonization strategies. Temporal anomalies associated with certain Xenos races add another layer of complexity to galactic affairs. Prod migrations cause localized time distortions, while Necron technology demonstrates mastery over temporal mechanics. These time-altering phenomena challenge the Imperium's understanding of causality and force military strategists to consider four-dimensional warfare. Diplomatic paradigms shift in regions where Xenos influence is strong. The Tau Empire's expansion has introduced concepts of negotiation and assimilation that are foreign to traditional imperial diplomacy. Eldar Farseers occasionally form temporary alliances with imperial forces, demonstrating the potential for cooperation against greater threats. These diplomatic anomalies create precedents that some radical imperial factions seek to explore further. Genetic diversity within the galaxy is both threatened and enhanced by Xenos activity. While Tyranid consumption reduces biodiversity on affected worlds, the genetic manipulations of the Eldar and the adaptive mutations of the Orcs introduce new strains of life. This flux in genetic variation presents both challenges and opportunities for imperial biologists studying the fundamental nature of life in the universe. Warp dynamics are profoundly influenced by the psychic activities of various Xenos races. The birth of Slanash, triggered by the fall of the Eldar, demonstrates the cataclysmic potential of Xenos' psychic power. The Orc's Gestalt field and the Tyranid shadow in the warp represent alien psychic phenomena that reshape the Immaterium in ways that impact warp travel and astropathic communication across the galaxy. Technological stagnation, paradoxically, is both caused and challenged by Xenos' influences. The Imperium's fear of innovation, partly driven by the threat of Xenos' tech heresy, leads to technological regression. Simultaneously, the need to combat advanced alien technology spurs research and development in specific military applications, creating pockets of progress within the overall stagnant tech culture. Philosophical questions about the nature of sentience and the rights of non-human entities arise from encounters with sapient Xeno species. Inquisitors and scholars debate the moral implications of xenocide, particularly when dealing with races that demonstrate high intelligence and complex societies. These ethical dilemmas sometimes lead to internal conflicts within imperial organizations, as differing viewpoints clash over the treatment of alien life. Galactic geography is reshaped by the presence and activities of Xenos races. The Cicatrix Maledictum, while primarily a warp phenomenon, has redrawn the boundaries of imperial space and Xenos territories alike. Tyranid hive fleets carve paths of destruction across star systems, altering trade routes and defensive strategies. These large-scale changes to the galactic landscape force all factions to constantly reassess their spheres of influence and strategic positions. Archaeological significance of Xenos ruins and artifacts drives much of the Imperium's exploratory efforts. Mechanicus expeditions risk much to uncover remnants of ancient Xenos civilizations, seeking technological marvels and historical insights. These archaeological pursuits sometimes lead to the awakening of dormant Xenos forces, such as Necron tomb worlds, dramatically altering the balance of power in entire sectors. Hybrid cultures emerge in regions where prolonged contact between humans and Xenos occurs. Robe traders and frontier worlds sometimes develop unique societies that blend imperial traditions with alien influences. While often viewed with suspicion by imperial authorities, these hybrid cultures sometimes serve as bridges between species, 
offering rare insights into Zeno's psychology and social structures. Military doctrine within the Imperium constantly evolves in response to Zeno's threats. The specialization of space marine chapters, the development of new weapon systems, and the creation of specialized units like the Death Watch, all stem from the need to combat diverse alien foes. This ongoing adaptation ensures that Imperial military tactics remain fluid and responsive to the ever-changing Xenos landscape. As we examine the multifaceted roles and influences of Xenos species in the Warhammer 40,000 universe, it becomes clear that their presence is not merely incidental, but integral to the setting's rich tapestry. Whether as adversaries, catalysts for change, or sources of forbidden knowledge, Xenos shape the destiny of humanity and the galaxy at large. Their existence poses not just a physical threat, but challenges the very foundations of imperial ideology, scientific understanding, and the perceived natural order of the universe. Examining the hypothesis that Xenos might be forgotten, creations of ancient humanity, reveals a complex web of possibilities and implications. This analysis aims to synthesize the information presented, evaluate the evidence, and draw conclusions about the potential relationship between humanity and the diverse alien species inhabiting the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Technological parallels between human and Xenos creations provide compelling evidence for a shared origin. The existence of Blackstone, a material utilized by both ancient humans and various Xenos races, suggests a common technological base. Advanced bioengineering capabilities demonstrated by species like the Tyranids mirror theoretical Dark Age human technologies. These similarities, while not conclusive, hint at a possible connection between human scientific achievements and the emergence of certain Xeno species. Genetic compatibility between humans and some Xenos races raises intriguing questions. The ability of genus stealers to interbreed with humans, producing viable hybrids, defies conventional evolutionary theory. This unexpected biological affinity could indicate intentional design, possibly aimed at creating adaptable life forms capable of thriving in diverse environments. The existence of such compatibility lends credence to the idea of Xenos as engineered offshoots of the human genome. Psychic phenomena observed across various Xenos species show striking similarities to human psychic abilities. The Eldar's mastery of warp energies, while more advanced, follows principles analogous to those employed by human psychers. This commonality in psychic expression suggests a shared foundation in warp manipulation, potentially rooted in ancient human experimentation with psychic engineering. Archaeological evidence, though often fragmented and open to interpretation, offers tantalizing clues. Ruins bearing hallmarks of both human and Xenos architecture hint at collaborative efforts or shared cultural influences. Artifacts responsive to human neural patterns, despite their alien origin, imply design choices that intentionally incorporated human compatibility. These findings support the notion of a more complex relationship between humans and Xenos than current imperial doctrine acknowledges. Mythological parallels between human legends and Xenos creation stories provide context for potential shared origins. Tales of the Men of Gold and the Old Ones share themes of godlike creators shaping life across the galaxy. These mythic resonances could be cultural echoes of actual historical events, preserving the memory of a time when humanity possessed the power to engineer new forms of life. Biological diversity among Xeno species, while initially seeming to contradict the idea of a common origin, may actually support it. The wide array of alien physiologies could represent different approaches to solving environmental challenges, each species tailored for specific conditions or purposes. This diversity aligns with the idea of ancient humans creating multiple species as part of a grand colonization or terraforming strategy. Temporal anomalies associated with certain Xenos races, particularly the Rudd and Necrons, align with theoretical Dark Age research into time manipulation. The existence of these time-altering phenomena across species boundaries suggests a common source of chronotechnology, potentially rooted in ancient human scientific endeavors. Collective consciousness systems, such as the Tyranid Hive Mind and the Orcs Gestalt Field, 
bear similarities to theoretical human research into group minds and psychic networks. These shared traits across ostensibly unrelated species hint at common design principles, possibly implemented by ancient human engineers seeking to create controllable and coordinated life forms. Adaptive capabilities demonstrated by many Xenos races align with the goals of theoretical human colonization efforts. Species able to rapidly evolve like the Tyranids or thrive in extreme environments like the Necrons represent ideal traits for life forms designed to spread across diverse planetary conditions. This adaptability supports the hypothesis of Xenos as purpose-built colonizers created by an advanced human civilization. Technological integration observed in species like the Necrons and Orcs mirrors Dark Age human research into the fusion of biology and machine. The seamless melding of organic and inorganic components in these Xenos races suggests an origin in advanced cybernetic experiments potentially conducted by ancient human scientists pushing the boundaries of transhuman evolution. Warp interaction variances among Xenos species could indicate different approaches to navigating and harnessing the immaterium. The spectrum of warp affinity, from the Eldar's mastery to the Necron's complete disconnection, might represent divergent paths in ancient human research into warp technology and psychic engineering. Longevity and immortality, common traits among several Xenos races, align with theoretical human efforts to overcome mortality. The diverse approaches to extended lifespans, seen in species like the Elder and Necrons, could be the results of different experimental methods employed by ancient human scientists in their quest for immortality. Ecosystem engineering capabilities, demonstrated by Xenos like the Orcs and Tyranids, suggest intentional design for rapid colonization. The ability to transform entire planetary biospheres aligns with theoretical Dark Age terraforming technologies, supporting the idea of Xenos as purpose-built tools for galactic expansion. Psychological warfare aspects inherent in many Xeno species such as the terror induced by Tyranid invasions or Dark Eldar raids could be viewed as intentional design features. These psychological impacts might have been engineered as control mechanisms or deterrents, serving the strategic goals of ancient human creators. Cultural exchange and assimilation capabilities, particularly evident in the Tao Empire, hint at designed social adaptability. The ability to integrate diverse species into a cohesive society could be a remnant of ancient human efforts to create manageable and cooperative alien races for colonization purposes. Contradictory evidence, however, challenges the hypothesis of Xenos as human creations. The vast age of some Xenos civilizations predating known human history complicates the timeline of potential human involvement in their creation. The old ones, often cited as precursors to many galactic species, present an alternative explanation for the origins of Xenos life. Ethical implications of the human created Xenos theory are profound. If proven true, this hypothesis would challenge the Imperium's xenophobic stance and potentially reshape humanity's relationship with alien species. The moral responsibility for created life forms would force a re-evaluation of Imperial policies regarding Xenos extermination and open debates about the rights of engineered sentient beings. Technological insights gained from viewing Xenos through the lens of human creation could accelerate Imperial scientific progress, Understanding alien biology and technology as extensions of human ingenuity might break down barriers to reverse engineering Xenos advancements, potentially ushering in a new age of technological growth for humanity. Political ramifications of accepting the human created Xenos theory would be far reaching. The idea that humanity once possessed the power to create life on a galactic scale could reinforce beliefs in human supremacy while simultaneously fostering a more nuanced view of humanity's place in the universe. This ideological shift could lead to factional conflicts within the Imperium, as different groups interpret the implications of this shared heritage. Future research directions emerging from this analysis include deeper archaeological studies of pre-Imperial human colonies, advanced genetic comparisons between humans and Xeno species, and intensive analysis of Xenos artifacts for signs of human design principles. Exploration of dead worlds and other sites of ancient conflicts may yield further evidence to support or refute the theory. 
Philosophical questions raised by the possibility of human created Xenos challenge fundamental imperial beliefs about the nature of humanity and its role in the galaxy. The idea that humans once wielded the power to create diverse forms of life forces a re evaluation of concepts like the divine right to rule and the definition of what it means to be human. In conclusion, while the theory of Xenos has forgotten human creations remain speculative, the evidence presented offers compelling reasons to consider its possibility. The technological, biological and psychic parallels between humans and various Xenos species suggest a deeper connection than currently acknowledged by imperial doctrine. Whether this connection stems from ancient human bioengineering, shared evolutionary paths, or the influence of even older precursor races remains a topic for ongoing investigation and debate. The implications of this theory, if proven true, would be transformative for the Imperium and the broader galactic community. It would necessitate a fundamental reimagining of humanity's history, capabilities, and responsibilities. The potential for reconciliation with certain Xeno species, based on a shared heritage, could alter the course of galactic history and open new avenues for human advancement and understanding. However, the verification of this hypothesis faces significant challenges. Much of humanity's Dark Age knowledge has been lost, and the Imperium's current technological and ideological stances hinder objective research into Xenos origins. Furthermore, the vast timescales involved and the reality-warping nature of warp phenomena complicate efforts to establish clear historical narratives. Ultimately, the question of whether Xenos are forgotten creations of ancient humanity remains open. Its exploration, however, provides valuable insights into the complex tapestry of life in the Warhammer 40,000 universe and challenges us to consider the profound implications of humanity's potential role as creators of galactic biodiversity. As research continues and new evidence emerges, this theory will undoubtedly remain a subject of intense scrutiny and debate among scholars, inquisitors and visionaries across the Imperium and beyond.